quick sort of um, dewy makeup look. Um, so I'm going to use my favourite is the Giorgio Armani the Luminous Silk. That's the uh, I'm going between two and five. I usually use two, but if it's pale, so I might add a wee bit of this in, so I'll put two. So I'm going to use that, but the wee one, the Professional. So as I say, it's going to be, this is quite a nice dewy finish anyway with the Luminous Silk, but I also wanted to use this. That's the um, the Kevin Aquan, I still don't know how to pronounce that. That's the Glass Glow Face. So I'm going to use a wee bit of that and mix it in with the foundation. You can wear it under, over, whatever. I'm just putting a wee bit of that just to mix it in. I'm using my Unicorn Cosmetics, my favourite brush. <laughs> I'm just going to mix that in. Just put a wee bit of that all over. So as I say, it's quite a glowy look that I'm going for. But that colour is actually okay. I don't know if I would use much. I don't think I'd add the five in. I like this coverage. It's good. It's not over the top, but you can build it up. So it works for a lot of people. Whereas I like the Charlotte Tilbury one, but that's better just if you don't want, if I'm not going anywhere or I don't want a lot of, Sort of foundation on I'll use the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder but if I'm going out I use this just a wee bit more see you can just see it's building up nicely take it all over and just oh, I've got a wee bit of redness in that around here um I caught the sun not that long ago as well which didn't help so I'll just all over just bring it down a little bit don't need much See, I'm not really going anywhere or doing anything, but I mean, I know that light's reflecting there as well, but there is a lot of glow, which is really nice. I like that finish. A wee bit more. So I'm now going to get in. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Mini Miracle, was it Mini? Mini Miracle, Miracle Eye Wand. Actually, I don't need that side. So it's got the two sides. The number one, this is my own one, so I'm going to use that straight on there. I've got one in my kit as well. I think I've maybe got two actually um, in my kit, and I use it onto my hand. So it's got the wee, like an eye cream, a lifting eye cream at one side, but I'm not going to put that on. But this side's the colour, so this is like a peachy colour. So it's really good for, sometimes you don't even need concealer with it as well. So it's just good for, I keep it in the inner corners, just for over into here, just for hiding all my darkness that seems to be there. And my red bits. As I say, sometimes with this, and I'm just using my finger to tap it in. Sometimes I find you don't need concealer as well. I'll sometimes wear this through the day. If I'm going out, um, like for a day out, not a night out, if I'm going a day out with my friends or that, I'll wear um, this on its own. I won't need concealer with it as well. So now, I mean, I don't feel I need too much concealer, but I'm just going to put a wee bit of my cheeks and maybe a wee bit red. So again, the Charlotte Tilbury, the Retoucher, I think that's in one fair. If I'm getting into it. That's kind of like, it's just one of these wee click things and so you don't really need to, um, I'll put it over my eyes as well a wee bit. I feel I don't necessarily need it there because I've covered up the darkness but I'm just going to put a wee bit there, just a little bit and round here again my nose, <laughs> it's such a red and then here I've got red cheeks I've always got, I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's, it's rosacea as such but I really, I get flushed cheeks really easily so I don't tend to wear blusher. I would have always gone out just a little bit, but I have to be careful because it does go quite red, so I like to conceal it. So anywhere else, just wee bits of darkness and that, just concealing with that. So then, I wanted to use that. Oh, I can't get the lid back on it. So now I want to use, for a bit of more highlighter, <laughs> since I like my highlighter, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. That's the peach one, I think. Oh, it is. Yeah, the peach gasm one that I got just recently. And then I'm just going to have a wee bit of that one. I've not opened it, you do open it, but I've already got product that was on it from the last time. So I'm just going to dab that onto my hand. And just here, I mean, I don't know if you're going to see this straight away, but... So that's the peach one, because I'm going to use the pillow talk in my eyes, so I thought I'd just keep it all that kind of tones. And I might also use the Becca, that's one of my favourites as well. So I just want to keep it quite dewy. I'm not going to powder because I'm not going anywhere, so I would probably use a little bit of loose powder and stuff there, but... So I'm going to put a wee bit of blush on. So I've just used that, the rose glow, to say, oh, that's probably enough, I wouldn't use any more. And then I'll just let, I mean, I would powder now, but I'm just going to go over with the, the powder the Charlotte Tilbury again. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that stuff. Oh, this is the one I couldn't open the last time. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use the pink first, the three blusher, the pink blusher, just at the bottom. And... I was reading reviews on this, um, it was the 
what's it, it uh, Temptalia, I don't know how you pronounce it, I love that, I, I can't remember the lady's name, but she reviews just about everything, she's brilliant, and I think she's very impartial, I think, you know, just from what I've seen, I, I really like what she does, and I was reading a review on this, and um, she was saying, picking it up's quite hard, and I, I noticed that the texture was a bit funny when I was trying it out, but it doesn't bother me, but I did find that, and she said that she'd had issues, not issues, but it can be quite hard to work with until you get into it, so... I don't know if it's just one of these things. So I've picked up a bit. It's not... I don't know, it's a funny texture. I don't know. That's the Nip and Fab. That's the Illuminating Fixing Mitt. I'm just going to... Scoosh this on a bit. Oh, I can't spray it. It doesn't spray out very well. I hate to set that all set yeah. So that's the Charlotte Tilbury. I think that's the Rose Gold Cream Shadow. It's one of them. It could be... I don't know which one. It's definitely one of hers and I can't remember which one. So I'm trying to get this, so this is putting this all over my lid. So this is just a kind of rose, I think it's a rose gold colour. I like pale gold. I put far too much on, I always do. All over because it's nice and shimmery. So I'm just, I don't even know if you can see that, <laughs> but I can't. So I'm going to run it underneath as well. I'm not going to put anything in my water light today. So running that underneath, it's just a nice colour. Still put far too much on, but it's all in my hand. I'm always doing that. Well, do you know what palette I've got, which I quite like? I got, was it the Stilazzi? Was it the Stilazzi? Stilazzi, I still can't pronounce it. That I got when I was down in London. It, it was a, they were sponsors of the Jordan Liberty Masterclass. Oh, it's amazing. I really like that. And it's not too, it was, well, I, don't think, I never paid for it, but, but I don't think it's a right expensive one. It was actually really good. So I'm just using the matte colour. And I'm just kind of going over it a wee bit. It's isn't going to be a heavy look. It's going to be quite light. Just go over it and you won't see it in the light until the end. Right, so I'm going to just deepen it up slightly. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just... I'll go with a darker colour in that one and just very slightly deepen it. As I say, it's just going to be a wee light look that I'm doing. So, as I say, just... I don't know if you can see that. And then I'll get a wee brush. Oh, I've got so many brushes to wash. I've, sometimes I'll wash them all like once I'm finished with them, sometimes I'll leave them a few days or a day or something, oh, so I've quite a lot to do. So I'm just going with the matte, darker matte shade underneath. So I'm just deepening that up. So I'm just going to use the Marc Jacobs, that's the brown, the fine liner I think it is, it's a wee bit smaller than the, the other one's a wee bit bigger, the gel liner, and I'm just going to go at the top and just trying to get close to my lash line which is hard when I'm doing this holding this at the same time but I'm gonna try and I'm just doing that just to deepen it a wee bit and um, so these are the if you've heard me read one about these the oh my lash um, I came across it on um, LinkedIn funny enough I'm on there I've been on there for years when I used to have my shop came across it there and I just like it was a packaging I have to be honest it was a packaging I just it looked really nice so I'll try it out, and I've been sort of following and things like that, and I thought I'll try them out. So I tried to, over the, was it over the weekend, I can't even remember, I think it was, and I tried the Date Night and Girl Boss, lovely. I love the Date Night more, just because they're a wee bit, they're not as full on, they're still full on, but not as big as the Girl Boss. I did prefer the Date, for me personally, I like the Date Night. And these, oh, I should check the name before I came on. I think there's, I got sent, there was the Selfie, selfies and oh what's the other one? Oh, I can't remember oh, I don't know I can't even remember what it is but looking at them they're quite big for me for my eyes they'd be a wee bit big they're gorgeous and that's I think that's the selfie ones they're a wee bit smaller so I'm going to put them on not now I won't do that off camera I'm not doing that now it's quite I mean I can see the end you'll probably see it is quite a dewy look so I'm quite happy with that thanks a lot I'll see you later bye